Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to uh, continue uh, with a series of beers from Second Story Ale Works, and we've looked at a couple already in this series, and now we're going to look at uh, another one. And, and after this, uh, the next one will be uh, also from Second Story, and there are a couple of stouts, and they're a little bit different. Um, the well, I'll tell you about it in a second here. But first, uh, Second Story L Works is in Tokushima, uh, Japan, on the island of Shikoku, um, and they started in 2018 and have been bottling since November of 2019. Uh, they uh, the brewery is run by a couple. Um, and uh, the owner, apparently the owner's parents had a house with a garage and they put their brewery on the second story over the garage and hence the name Second Story. Um, you can see pictures of it on their website. Uh, and uh, it's, the brewery was started by uh, a man, an American man named Pat Brown and his wife. And they, Pat Brown apparently had been home brewing since 1993 um, and they were living in Bend, Oregon, which is uh, uh, very much a beer town with uh, some of the, uh, you know, some very exceptional breweries in that town. Uh, least and not least of all, uh, Deschutes. Uh, and uh, when they decided to start a brewery to uh, and return to Japan, he took a university brewing course and. Uh, and they came back and opened up their brewery, and they've been going since 2018. They're kind of well known for using uh, local products, local fruit, local uh, barley, things like that in their beers. And, uh, uh, but a lot of his beers tend to be kind of Northwest influenced, not all, uh, uh, Portland, Oregon, I mean. Uh, and on Rate Beer, there are 30 beers from this brewery listed, and on Untapped, there are uh, 52 beers, and the average score on Untapped is 3.75, so so uh, pretty pretty high overall. And okay, so we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, stouts from uh, Second Story Ale Works, and we'll get going. And here we are, finally, uh, with the last of the Second Story Ale Works beers that we're looking at in this series. And it is the biggest one and probably the most unusual one. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I had one bottle and then I ordered again from the brewery different sets and now I have three bottles. So I think I will put one away for a while. This is a big beer. This is called Second Story Ale Works Topsy Bananas. And uh, uh, Topsy is a relative of the brewer. I, don't remember if it was his uncle or great uncle, uh, but he's pictured here, uh, pictured here on the uh, label. And uh, this is an imperial stout. Uh, it's, uh, I guess we would call it a pastry stout, uh, but it clocks in at 12%, 12% alcohol. So an imperial stout. And uh, the ingredients do include malt, German malt, hops, banana, uh, lactose, and vanilla beans. Okay, so this should be quite a, an interesting, maybe a dessert stout, uh, pastry stout. Um, on rate beer, this one has absolutely no ratings. Uh, it's, it's new enough. On Untapped, there were only eight ratings when I checked, so uh, it, uh, it's fairly new. Um, apparently it was inspired by desserts from uh, a restaurant called Murino, uh, which is located close to where the brewery is in Tokushima. Um, it has German, these German malt, again, and banana, lactose, and vanilla beans. So uh, I'm expecting uh, quite an interesting, interesting mix of uh, aromas and flavors from this. This will be a sipper, and actually I should probably pour it into a smaller glass. I have my Spiegelau uh, stout glass here, but uh, so we'll... Uh, We'll just sip on this. And I think I might let it warm up for a while and uh, try it then to see what flavors develop. Okay, 
it is a kind of deep reddish brown not exactly cola cover color but uh, yeah just kind of mahogany um, there appears to be a lot of sediment floating around inside it it's kind of hard to tell uh, and the head is uh, sort of light <clears throat> light brown close to tan mm -hmm. Not much lace and uh, okay a lot of a lot of carbonation is here at the bottom of the glass I can see it there perhaps you can too I'll fill this up a little bit more bananas I think this is the first time I've had banana in a stout yeah or banana in anything actually uh, wheat beers are often you know, people say banana beer, but that's clearly from the malt and the yeast that produced that that uh, banana note. Okay, so what do we get here? I do get light banana. And some chocolate. Vanilla could be, could be there. It's not, not very strong. Uh, the, the alcohol, uh, 12%, I should be getting more alcohol fumes, I would think. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be hitting the nose at uh, a level that that alcohol percentage would warrant uh, or would produce. Something like cocoa powder, maybe? Okay. All right, here we go. This is unusual. Chocolate, banana. The vanilla beans are not uh, clearly identifiable as a vanilla presence, but they must be adding to the overall effect here with the chocolate and the banana together. Kind of like banana bread. Like a chocolate banana bread. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Some caramel, for sure. The alcohol level is high enough that it's kind of resembling something, uh, something beyond beer. Uh, something quite spirited. Uh, in uh, both sentences or two sentences, sentences. Uh, you know. Mm. Okay, uh, this is a, definitely a sipper. Uh, the body is kind of light for what I uh, expect this would, this, uh, you know, what it should be. Uh, at twelve percent, I would expect a thicker sort of thing, but it's really not at all. Yeah. I mean, it's not opaque in any sense. Um, this is quite interesting, something quite different. Uh, and uh, I think you should probably give this one a go if you can find it. And I think they still are selling sets, sets of beer in which you can buy this uh, Topsy Bananas. So if you go online, if you live in Japan, you could go online and uh, try to uh, get a set which includes this. This is quite, quite, quite different. Pastry stout at 12%, uh, Topsy Bananas, and I don't know the international bitter units, I don't expect they're terribly high, I don't feel like they're high, but uh, very warming, very nice, very uh, pleasant, again, it is kind of like, uh, like an alcoholic banana bread, interesting, unusual, uh, Give Second Story Ale Works a go and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I'd like to hear from you and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you're doing well these days. Uh, here it's uh, spring and the coronavirus has suddenly taken off and uh, 
Uh, we're getting record levels of cases uh, in the areas where I live, and uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but uh, uh, hoping that things will calm down soon. There's a state of emergency, and apparently alcohol sales are going to be banned in, in the Tokyo area in bars and restaurants. So, in other words, discouraging people from going out at night uh, and having restaurants and bars have to close early and that sort of thing. So, hoping to find our way around this situation, you know, at some point. The vaccinations are going on here, but slowly, slowly. And uh, I'm hoping to get vaccinated at some point, maybe at the end of, or around sometime in May, perhaps, or early June. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.